Good morning, good morning, good morning, or I should say afternoon. It's actually afternoon. I had quite a bit of stuff to do this morning, helping my mom out, and also uh, editing and all of that good stuff. Yesterday was absolutely awesome. I want to say thank you for all the Father's Day wishes. I appreciate that. It was a really, really good time yesterday. We threw a big little barbecue there at uh, the mountain. We had a whole bunch of people uh, there. And uh, I cooked some country style ribs, some baby back ribs, some pork chops, uh, what else, chicken, uh, two pork loins, and uh, also some bratwurst. And I uh, had a whole lot of food, and then we had like baked beans, potato salad, and uh, the, what is that one stuff called with the noodles? salad stuff it also and uh, desserts and Roxanne made some uh, French bread and all that and chips and cookies and all kinds of stuff was brought and uh, yeah it was a good time uh, we did it towards the evening time because of the heat here lately it was man it was hot it was still hot when that sun started going down it wasn't bad though and uh, we just all hung out there was a bunch of us uh, that kind of hung out. If I get a chance, I'll put everybody that was there in the description here. I don't know if I'll have time today because it's almost two o'clock and uh, I'm actually headed to where the bike is and uh, I'm going to practice today um, for my driving test tomorrow. Uh, there's an airport right across the street, a little small airport, not too far away. They're basically right across the street. I'm gonna set some cones up. I got some. Oh, let me show you. Oh, I got some practice cones to put out just to practice the turning and the solemn and the braking and the U-turn and all of that kind of stuff that you got to do. It's been a long time since I've took that test. Uh, so I just want to brush up a little bit on it uh, on a public. Yeah, I guess it would be a public area because uh, I can't do the street thing. Uh, so luckily they're letting me use a little concrete area out there to do a little practicing. And uh, that way I'm a little bit more confident whenever I go tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully I pass the driving part tomorrow. Um, it's a whole lot easier to do those, those uh, driving tests with a small bike. Uh, most people use like little... 200s and 600s and all of that and that hardly is big but I don't know anybody with a small bike so I'm gonna have no choice but to take it on my bike so I just want to brush up on a couple of things make sure that I'm ready because I really want to just pass it and be done with it and uh, yeah hopefully everything works out good and tomorrow I will have my M endorsement on my license because I've already passed the written test as y'all know so now it's just a matter of the driving test. And tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. I gotta get up early in the morning. I gotta take my mom to the airport. She flies out tomorrow. And then I got to come straight back and take the test. Uh, I am gonna have uh, Anthony meet me uh, where the bike is. That way uh, I don't have the trailer. I, if he wasn't uh, able to do that, I was going to have to trailer it all the way to Fort Smith to the airport and then trailer it all the way back to the uh, place where I'm taking the test and unload it and all that other stuff by myself. It would have been a pain in the booyaka, but he offered to just drive it up to the uh, place where I'm taking the test. It's only like 10 minutes away from where the bike is and uh, keep me from having to do all of the trailering and strapping it down and all of that other stuff. So a big shout out to Anthony over there at Country Road Cure and the Daily Vibe. I greatly appreciate your brother. It definitely uh, makes my life a whole lot easier having him just be able to just scoot up there and then uh, I'll take my test and stuff and he can take my truck uh, back. I don't think that we'll get a chance to ride tomorrow even if I do pass. 
but I have to take the bike to Harley on Wednesday to get that top gasket fixed whenever they fix that uh, check valve the top gasket wasn't right and when you fill it all the way up and lean it to its side it uh, kind of uh, leaks still so it's been a mission it's been a mission it's been a mission that has spanned over about five days um, longer than that really but five days of actually dealing with it so hopefully Wednesday it'll be the conclusion of all of it and everything will be just done. I'll be licensed and I can just hit the open road and enjoy some of the beautiful views out here in Arkansas. That's the goal. Uh, I'm also going to go to the P.O. Box today. That's where we're headed right now. Let me go ahead and uh, check the P.O. Box because I'm not too far from it. We are calling for rain tomorrow morning. Um, or actually a slight chance of rain tomorrow morning and then a little bit heavier after uh, 12 o'clock tomorrow but my test is at 11 so uh, hopefully the rain doesn't change you know how Arkansas is because if it's raining they won't give the test so yeah there's that so hopefully mother nature works with me so I can get all of this done I am ready I am ready it has been a mission to say the least and I also found out in Arkansas, you have to redo this every eight years. Uh, I don't remember if that was the way it was in Florida or not. I don't think so. But uh, it is what it is. At least I'll have eight years before I gotta go through all of this again. And I don't know if they make you take the skills test part or if you just gotta retake the written test or anything like that. I've watched a ton of videos on the skill driving test stuff uh, just different stuff uh, just in case it's changed because like I said the last time I done all of this was I was in my early 20s and now I'm in my mid to late uh, 40s so I'm sure a lot, some things have changed but it's all basic stuff um, it's just maneuvering really a whole lot and with a big bike that makes it a little challenging because it don't handle like one of those little small uh, little 600s or even like a little 200 thing the smaller the bike the better because you can just whip those things so it is what it is uh adeline is having a great time they went to the lake the day before yesterday um and i met them out there yeah adeline and serenity some goggles and noodles and got adeline some crocs and some water shoes and all of that good stuff she's having an absolutely blast um tomorrow while i'm doing all of that she's actually going to go to the drifting dreamers tonight and stay the night and they're going to go to the movies so i'm giving them some money to take Addie with them tomorrow uh, they're going to go to the movies with uh i think simple life reclaim tomorrow and lunch so they're going to be doing that while I take my mom to the airport and to uh, take my driving test so it's crazy saying driving test you know 46 years old and I'm about to take another driving test it's kind of crazy but it is what it is but this one's going to be a short one guys I just wanted to check in a little bit I hope all the fathers out there had a good father's day yesterday you guys are rock stars uh, I should have a video coming out probably Wednesday on Come On Homesteading. And I will definitely be doing one of these tomorrow. I'll let y'all know how the driving test went and how uh, it went getting my mom's to the airport and all of that good stuff. But do something nice for somebody today, guys. Happy Monday. I hope y'all are motivated today, taking a step closer to your goals and just being nice to people, guys. And until we see each other again, come on, keep it real.